Hello, this is Gray Hughes. This video right now is going to take last night's live stream and compare our predictive ability with the press conference today. It's actually sort of a humorous look at the prediction. All right, now before we get started on that, I'd like to say thank you to Mitch, Jennifer Cook, and Connie M for their generous Super Chat donations. I really, really appreciate it, all right? So let's get started on this video right now. Yeah, so let me just see uh, this one. Let me see what this says. Authorities plan to update the public Tuesday on the search for missing University of Iowa student Molly Tibbetts, who vanished nearly two weeks ago. During the press conference, officials will provide an update. See, I don't like the, what they're saying they're going to provide. During the press conference, officials will prov provide updates on the investigative response tip line information and rewards see that doesn't mean anything what they're going to say is well we're following up on every lead jim and here's our tip line number and we have a reward now of two thousand dollars thank you very much we'll take a few questions now yes uh could you tell us officer do you guys believe that she made it home that night? And was she on her computer doing homework after the jog? We can't answer that question at this time. Okay. Um, okay. Can you tell us if the red T-shirt is really missing? We can't answer that question at this time. Okay. That, that's going to go on. Uh, that's what's going to happen. Director, one of the basic facts is where she disappeared from. Some of the family members have indicated that evidence suggests she may have returned home after the run. Do you believe she disappeared on the run or after she returned home? Well, I mean, that's one of those details that, that I'm, I'm not going to discuss today. I, I'm, I... What about the Fitbit? I know you were trying to get data from the Fitbit to see if it provided any clues into her final movements that day. Uh, were you able to get that data and what's the status? Well, um, the status is the same as I just talked about. Um, I'm, I'm not going to discuss the, the, the findings or the conclusions that we have from any testing or anything else that we've done. One, one thing you have talked about is that Snapchat that was uh, received by the boyfriend around 10 p.m. Do you know if it was sent at 10 p.m. or just opened by him at 10 p.m.? Again, um, all of the findings of, of the um, leads that we're pursuing um, I am not going to talk about the results of those findings. Um, we believe that those are best kept with the investigative team at this point. Right. Lacey wants to know, what would you ask at the presser? Now, that's what I'd ask. I would say, do you guys believe that she made it home after the jog? Boom. Do you guys think that she was doing homework until late in the evening? What time was it that she was doing that homework that you're aware of? And then after they said, yes, we believe she was doing homework, is the, does the fact uh, that, that her contact lenses weren't on her, they were still in the house, lead you to believe that she had completed doing some homework and was getting ready for bed? And then I'd say, well, what time was the, what time do you believe the Snapchat was sent and where was the Snapchat sent from? Okay, bang! Once you have those questions answered, then you can really narrow it down quite a bit. Then it's between, like if she's still studying at 10.30-ish, and then you can say, well, between 10.30 and say, well, I guess 7.30 in the morning. I would imagine, though, if anybody's going to abduct her, it's not going to be when it's light outside. Well, there you have it. There was my prediction, and it came true. I'll, although I admit that wasn't really a, a great prediction. That seems to be the norm almost, that law enforcement never really gives you out much information unless it can help them. Okay? They usually keep that kind of stuff close to the vest. Although my selfishness, my personal want and desire to get the information really is irrelevant okay but when you're watching that video every time that you hear me speak that was from yesterday and the press conference was today now if you notice almost all of the questions that one reporter asked were similar to the ones that i said i would ask in the later part of the video 
And uh, I think those are the key questions in the case. Did she make it home? Was she doing homework? What time was she doing homework? What time was the Snapchat sent? And when you have that, then we can start narrowing it down. And I'd also like to know, is the red shirt actually missing? And no, I'm not wearing this red shirt in honor of that. I'm just wearing a red shirt today. All right, so I appreciate everybody showing up to this video. And I'll try to put a condensed version of last night's live down. I'm not really sure how to do that. It's so long. But uh, until next time, everybody, be safe out there.